This video shows how to create GA drawings of selected model objects. Based on the user selection, drawings can be created of single parts, components, and assemblies. A single general arrangement drawing can include more than one basic view. We will implement an application that creates part drawings based on user selection. There will be four views to select from, top, front, end, and 3D view. To begin, create a new Windows Forms application project in Microsoft Visual Studio. Every time you start a new project, remember to install the Tecla Open API Nudget package. First, add directive lines to the beginning of the code. In this application, we will use the Tecla.structures.model, drawing, and model.ui namespaces. To begin, Create the connection to tech law structures. Add a new instance of drawing handler class. This object must be created before any actions can be performed on tech law structures drawings. Now, add a create button to your form. Go to the design tab, from toolbox, drag a button to your form. Rename the button, and double click it to add a click event to your code. This will be the entry point of your program. First, store the current work plane as a local variable, so you can restore it later on. Implement the try, catch method for error handling. Here, when an exception is thrown, we will return the original work plane, and show the exception on message box. Create a new transformation plane. Use the model object enumerator to iterate through the tech law structures model objects. The get selected objects method returns an enumerator of all the selected model objects in the model view. Initialize a GA drawing as null. Implement a while loop that moves to the next item in the enumerator. First, you need to get the coordinate system and name of the current object. Initialize the parameters needed to do this. The first parameter will be the model object enumerator already created. The second parameter will be the coordinate system. And the third one the name of the model object. Now, create a new method after the click method. The model object coordinate system will be needed when creating the different drawing views of a part. Get also the name of the object at this point, to name the views later on. Use the out parameter modifier, to pass the arguments to the main method by reference. Different model objects have different way of getting a proper coordinate system. So first, you have to check, what is the type of the model object. The type can be part, assembly, or base component. Every time, when defining the coordinate system and name, cast the current object as the type in question. In the case of parts and components, get the coordinate system with the get coordinate system method. If the object is an assembly, use the get main part dot get coordinate system to get the coordinate system. Now, name the different object types. With parts, you can use the get part mark method to name the object. With assemblies, to name the object, add the assembly number dot prefix and assembly number dot start number together. Base component class includes the name property that you can use to name the object. Also, handle the situation if the selected model object is none of the above. In this case, initialize the coordinate system in the current work plane and set the name as an empty string. Now, the method is ready. Go back to the click method, and call the method just created. Next, create a new empty general arrangement drawing. First, give a name to the drawing. Use the model object.identifier to get a unique name for the drawing. 
use the GA drawing constructor to create the drawing. Here, the first parameter is the name of the attribute file to use, and the second one is the sheet size of the new GA drawing. Insert the drawing into tech law structures. Now create a checkbox so that the user can decide whether to open the new drawing or not. Add a checkbox to your form and name it Open Drawings. Check if the box is checked. Use the Set Active Drawing method to open the drawing in the editor. Here, the second parameter defines whether to open the drawing as visible in the editor or in the background in invisible mode. The view constructor requires, as input, an array list of identifiers of model objects to be shown in the view. So, create a new array list and add the current model object identifier property to the list. This method works only if the current model object is a part, so you have to implement methods that handle also other model object types. Create a new region for these methods. Start with implementing a method that gets a list of assembly parts. As a parameter for this method, give the current model object. Create a new array list. You need to enumerate through all of the parts in the assembly. The iEnumerator interface supports a simple iteration over a non-generic collection. Use it to enumerate through the secondary parts of the assembly. Add the main part to the array list. Implement a while loop to go through all the secondary parts of the assembly and add the current model object identifier property to the list. Return the created array list. Next implement a method for component parts. You can do it much in the same way as the assembly method. With components, there is no main part separately, so use the getChildren method to return an enumerator of all the children model objects. Now, go back to the main method. Modify the main method so that it checks the type of the current model object and updates the array list accordingly. For each model type, use the specific method just created to add the correct objects to the array list. Before you can create and insert the drawing views to the tech law structures model, you need to know the coordinate system of the view you are about to create. Let's implement a method to do this before the main method. We want to return the coordinate system for front view of the current object. Before the method, initialize a vector to store the global up direction. This way, you'll always have a reference vector. Now, create a private method, and as a parameter, give the model object coordinate system. First, create a new instance of coordinate system class. This will be the result, to be returned at the end of the method. Now, we have the object's coordinate system, which we can use to deduce the coordinate system for the front view. A coordinate system is defined by an origin, an x-axis and a y-axis. The z-axis is the cross product of the x-axis and the y-axis. It always follows the right-hand rule. Initialize the coordinate system components. Set the origin to the position of the object coordinate system. Define the x-axis vector as opposite to the object coordinate system. You can flip a vector by multiplying it by minus 1. Finally, Set the y-axis according to the object coordinate system. Next, by calculating the cross product of the x-axis vector and the global up direction vector, create a new temporary vector. In some cases, for example if the part is a column, the opposite of object coordinate x-axis can have the same direction as the global up direction. As a result of the cross product, the temp vector would be initialized as a zero length vector. To handle this situation, check if the vector is a zero length vector. A new vector constructor without parameters instantiates a zero length vector. In this case, define the vector as a cross product vector of the object's y axis vector 
and the global up direction vector. Assign the final x and y axis for the result vector. x axis is the cross product of the temporary vector and the global up vector. The y axis is always the normal vector of the global up direction. Finally, return the coordinate system. Now, create the methods for the top, end and views. The methods are almost identical, so you can copy and paste the method, and make the modifications needed. Start with a top view. You only need to modify the last two lines of the code, where we assign final values to the axes. The x-axis will be the cross product of the temp vector, and the global up direction. The y-axis has the same direction as the temp vector. Create a method also for the end view. Assign the x-axis as the temp vector and the y-axis as the global up direction. Now, you are ready to implement a method that creates the views. Let's create the method at the end of the file. As parameters, you will need the model object coordinate system, name, GA drawing, and parts array list. As we have different views to select from, let's create checkboxes for the user to select from. The views to select from are front, top, end, and 3D. First, check for each view, if the create view box is checked. Next, implement a new method, to create a single view, for the front, end and top views. The parameters for this method are the same, as for the create views method. Create a new view constructor to create the view. The view constructor creates a new view instance with a given coordinate systems and part list. The parameters for the constructor are, the container view where the view is placed, the coordinate system of the view restriction box, the coordinate system of the display plane, and an array list of identifiers of model objects to be shown in the view. Name the view, and insert int into tech law structures. Now, you can call this method on the createViews method. For the different 2D views, call the method with the correct coordinate system input. For the 3D view, you have to create a separate method to add the view into the model. The 3D view is otherwise same as the front view, except for the, the coordinate system of the display plane. So first, you have to create the coordinate system for the display plane. Create a new instance of the coordinate system class. Use the matrix class to create the rotation. Create the rotation around the x axis and z axis separately. The rotation method returns a rotation matrix in a clockwise rotation around the given axis. Notice that you have to give the rotation angle in radians. Transform the rotation into a point so you can create the x and y axis vectors. Now, create the view constructor. As you can see, only the third parameter is different compared to the 2D views. Finally, add the name property and insert the view into tech law structures. On the create views method, call the add rotated view method in the same way as with the 2D views. Notice that we pass the coordinate system for the front view for this method. Now, go back to the main method and call the create views method. After the view is created, use the place views method to place the views on the sheet. The method computes the required size of the views to fit the parts, then places the views so that they fit on the sheet and do not overlap. Save and close the active drawing. Now, you have handled one item in the enumerator. After the while loop, check if the drawing is not null, and the user has checked the open drawings box. In this case, Set the drawing as active drawing, so that it opens up in Tecla structures. Finally, remember to return the original transformation plane. Now, you are ready to run the program. First, open your Tecla structures model, and select one or more objects. On Microsoft Visual Studio, run the application. The form appears where you can select the views to be created, and if you want to open the drawing in tech law structures. Select some views, check the open drawings box, and click create. Tech law structures will create a drawing, 
with all of the selected views, for each part separately. The newest drawing will open up automatically. To see all of the created drawings, open the drawing list. Now, you have learned how to create part drawings based on user selection. You also know how to add different views to drawings.